Okay, guys. So in this exercise that we are seeing, they want you to give or to decide whether whatever that you're given on the diagram is it an atom or a molecule. So this is about our atoms and molecules. So what is it that we are talking about or that we are referring when talking about the atoms, the molecules? What is it that we are talking about? You need to understand these before attempting this exercise. So there's a summary that I need you to go through on the key concepts that you are going to need in your syllabus as long you are working with atoms. The atoms being, all matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. The atoms of each element are unique and essentially identical to each other. That is, all the known elements are listed on the periodic table. We talked about that part of the periodic table. Remember, when we're talking about each element listed according to the atomic number increasingly in terms of the atomic number. So each of these now can be subdivided into what we call the subatomic particles. The three main subatomic particles that determine the structure of the atom are protons, neutrons, and the electrons. Okay? Meaning to say you are supposed to know the structure of a sub atomic uh, particles, the part of the subatomic uh, particles where we are going to have something of this nature where we have got, uh, uh, let's say the, the protons and the neutrons inside the protons will be carrying a positive, okay? Building up what we call the nucleus. So the proton will be a positive. And the one without a sign, it will be just a circle like that, without a sign inside. Those are neutrons. They are neutral. They do not have a sign. So you move, if you move to this, you are forming what you refer to as the nucleus. So it is uh, the nucleus which is making up this structure of the neutron and the proton together. They build up what is called the nucleus okay so this is your nucleus and out there with the negative charge those are electrons electrons which are which will be on the shell all right these are electrons these are the subatomic particles that they are talking about here okay protons are positively charged and are found in the nucleus, okay, inside of the nucleus, deep in the center of the atom. Same as the neutrons are similar to protons in size and mass, but they do not, they do not, take note, they do not carry any charge. They are neutral. There is no charge. They are neutral. They are found in the atomic nucleus, again, same where we have what? Our protons in the nucleus, in this case, that is where we're going to have this. Electrons are negatively charged particles much smaller than protons and neutrons. A cloud of fast-moving electrons surrounds the atomic nucleus. These are the ones with negative. In the neutron atom, the number of protons always equals the number of electrons. Hence, the atom is neutral. Okay, then we talk of the pure substances. All matter can be classified as mixtures of substances or pure substances. Pure substances can be further classified as elements or compounds. These are pure substances like pure gold, pure substance. What is it that you are referring there? Elements. These are the ones that we had. If you still remember our periodic table, when we talked about the periodic table, we're talking about the periodic table of elements, where I said 
these are made up of the same kind of atom. So all atoms in an element are of the same kind. That means that an element cannot be changed into other elements by any physical or any chemical process. No, it is just an element. An element can be built up of individual atoms or bonded pairs of atoms called the diatomic, the diatomic molecules. That is diatomic molecules. Take note about that. When they are bonded in pairs, pair, pair, di, pair. When, el when elements combine, they form compounds. Take note. You took atoms of the same kind. What do they form? An element. Now you're taking elements together. What are they going to form? Compounds. So elements, they form compounds. An element taken is going to form it. So what is that compound? So compounds now, in a compound, atoms of two, take note now, two or more different kinds. It's no longer about the same. There are different kinds now are chemically bonded to some fixed ratio. It's no longer one atom like what we had on elements. Elements, remember, it's all atoms, but they are of the same kind. They are of the same kind on elements. On compounds, it's two or more, and they are different kinds, and they are chemically bonded. Take note, do not leave this word chemically bonded in some ratio. The atoms that make up a molecule are held together by physical attractions called chemical bonds. Compounds can be formed and broken down in chemical reactions. We're going to talk about that part of where you form chemical or you can even break down, okay? A chemical reaction in which a compound is broken down into, into simpler compounds and even elements is called a decomposition reaction. So we are going to talk about that. Uh, then also, uh, compounds cannot be separated by physical processes, okay? But they can be separated into their elements or simpler compounds by chemical, chemically, chemically. So it must be a chemical process, okay? If they were bonded chemically, also they must be separated chemically. They cannot be separated physically. They have to be separated chemically by the chemical process. These are your compounds. All right, then we move on to the mixtures. Mixtures are combinations of two or more elements. Take note now. A compound, it was... Okay, let, let's, let's see the difference so that you properly see. It was two or more different kinds of atoms, which is true. But look now on the mixture. It's a combination of two or more ele elements. Elements. Or compounds, meaning to say compounds can be taken differently. Combined. Now, these are now mixtures. Mixture. You're taking uh, this compound, another compound, you mix together. You take this element. It's it's a mixture. It's, it's to mix. You are mixing. So this is about the mixture. So the components in a mixture can be separated by physical separation methods. It's a mix. You are mixing. You are taking this. You put it here. It's by physical. Okay, but compounds were being made by a chemical method, a chemical bonding, not physical, mixtures, physical, such as sieving, filtration, evaporation, distillation, and we talk of the chromatograph, okay? The chromatography, 
uh, the distillation, the vapor, all these methods, they can be used to separate your mixture because you're just combining. It's not chemical, it's by physical means, by physical means. So the, the question is that when we have this part of our components, like uh, uh, these mixtures, the compounds, or whatever that we have, then what, uh, what can we conclude to be a molecule? A molecule is a compound. A molecule is a two or more atoms that I that have chemically bonded with each other. Chem the moment we talk of chemically bonded, it follows under a compound now, which is a molecule can be there. So the questions that we are seeing here, they want you to separate between this atom, which is just a, a, just a single atom, a normal atom. Is it a carbon atom? Is it a hydrogen atom? Remember from the elements, we're talking about uh, uh, from our periodic table. Those were elements which were taken from the atoms, like it's a hydrogen atom, okay? It's a carbon, at, it's a nitrogen, at, it's an oxygen atom. So when it is like this, a single circle that you see like this, a single circle, if it is like this, it represents an atom, okay? Whenever you see a single circle like this, it represents what you refer to as an atom. This one, it is an atom. When they are two, we are saying it's now a molecule of two atoms. They are two, you see they are the same, same color, same this one. It, it means it is the same atom that we have, same atoms chemically combined. Same atom, they are, they are two that we have, now chemically combined. So it's a molecule of two atoms. So it's going to be molecule of two atoms. There are now two atoms. So it's going to be a molecule, a molecule of two atoms. Okay, there are two atoms there. Okay, if they are like this, if you see a presentation like this, it's still a, it's still a molecule because they are different. As you can see, there is this one, one, two, three, four. So if you are to consider this one, it is a, an atom on its own. And these ones are also atoms that are of their own. But now we have to count how many atoms are there. One, two, three, four. There are four atoms. So it's a molecule. A molecule of four atoms. But of these atoms, now we can separate to say the type now, to say this is another type. Then these three that we are seeing, these ones, is another type. Okay? So that is uh, what we are seeing there. Uh, talk of uh, if you are used to your H2O, two hydrogen and one oxygen. You are used to this one, okay? It's, a, it's an atom. There are three atoms. One, two, three. But you can separate to say this one, it's an oxygen atom. These two are hydrogen atoms. Okay, but if you count the number of atoms making up a molecule, it's one, two, three. So this is what I'm trying to say there. Okay, so be careful. Uh, so if it's a single circle, like I said, a single circle is just an, an atom, this one. Then here we've got a molecule. They are differently combined. So it's a molecule that we have. So this molecule has got domain atoms. They are different, like to say this one and this one is another type. It's one type different to this one that you see in red, different to these smaller ones that you see, these smaller ones that you are seeing here. But you're not going to count them differently. Like we are just going to count how many are we seeing? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're just counting. How many are you seeing there? So you conclude to say it is a molecule, okay? It is a molecule of how many atoms? Of nine, you counted. There were nine atoms that are there. This is what you just need, nine atoms. 
You are not going to specify the type to say there is this type, one, another type, another type, no, another kind, another kind, no. You just count how many are there. That is the question. Look at the following complex molecule. There is a complex molecule. So you can say it's a molecule, different atoms. How many atoms make up this molecule? How many? Count just like previously. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there are 24 atoms that we can see. Okay? That is how it is like. How many different, now, do you see this question that I was talking about? How many different types now of atoms? There are 24 of them, yes, but there are different types. If you check on the types now, if you check here properly, there are these ones, which are here in this color, this brown one, this one. It's another type. So that's the first type that we have. So we've got this type, that's our type one. Then we've got these ones, which are in red. That's our type two. Then we've got these smaller ones that we see in white. That's our type three. There's no other types. So our main types, one, two, three. So there are three types now. Three kinds, three different types. There are different types, actually, these ones. So let us actually be, be very, very specific. There are three different types. There are three different types of what? Of atoms. Just like what we had here in this one, there are three also different types. This type, this type, and this type. There are three different. But if you count, you are just counting how many atoms are there. But you can specify the kinds that are there, the types which are there, how many types. Okay? So that is the idea. What holds atoms together in this the moment they just write molecule, guys, the moment they just write a molecule, what holds a molecule? Same as a compound. It's chemical bonds. They are chemical bonds between atoms. Okay? So these ones, they are hold by chemical bonds. They are chemical bonds. There are chemical bonds, okay, between the atoms. Between the atoms. There are different types of atoms, but chemically bonded together. That is, remember, your atom um, giving us a compound or a molecule. In a compound, in a molecule, is the same thing because a molecule is a compound. So if a molecule is part of a compound, we are saying it is made up of two or more different kinds. These are atoms of different kinds. But how are they made? They are chemically bonded in some fixed ratio. So as long as we talk about this, remember that it is about a chemical bond. And to separate a chemical bond, we said we separate chemically. Okay? Mixtures are the ones which are mixed physically. Mixtures are physically. These mixtures, they are physically they can be separated also physically because they were combined physically through the method of sieving. So we're going to talk about these methods later on. But this is what you're going to need in your syllabus for this term. So we shall have more questions to, uh, to work on this part of our atoms. Then we also talk about the part of the particle model of matter, the chemical reactions, then you are ready for your revisions and your consolidations. So that is what you're gonna have till we meet again.